Hey guys, welcome you in Core Java Interview Question and Answer. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about one of the very important Java interview question. And question is that what are fail fast and fail safe iterator? So let's try to understand. This is really very important from interview point of view. So let's try to understand answer of this question. First of all, let's try to understand what is fail fast iterator. So iterator fails as soon as it realizes that a structure of the underlying data structure has been modified since the iterator has begun right so once uh, you create iterator from the collection right if let's say you have an array list right and you call iterator method on that then you get the return back as iterator so while iterating the iterator when uh, another thread will try to add or remove any elements from the underlying collection then immediately you'll get an uh, concurrent modification exception and that's what that is called a fail fast iterator that is basically that is uh, saving us to uh, making corrupt that underlying collection right so now second point says structural changes meaning adding removing any element from the collection merely updating some value in the data structure does not count for the structural modification so you should understand what is basically a structural modification a structural modification nothing but the adding or removing elements from the underlying collection but uh, updating any elements uh, uh, under the, in, the, in the underlying collection cannot consider as a, a structural modification right now it is implemented by keeping a modification count and if iterating the iterating thread realizes the changes in the modification count it throws concurrent modification exception most collection in package java.util are fail fast by design itself right so here thing is that uh, uh, you might have ch checked into the source code uh, how that is getting implemented so before right so once you get the iterator from the underlying collection by calling iterator method then what happens uh, basically this implementation first basically stores uh, uh, basically initial count in the uh, underlying collection and while iterating that will uh, try uh, that will keep checking if there is a change in the mode count then that will immediately throw concurrent modification exception that's the way that is implemented internally yeah now another side we have a fail safe iterator so let's try to understand what is fail safe iterator fail safe iterator is weakly consistent first of all and does not throw any exception if collection is modified structurally during the iteration so fail safe iterator what is basically when uh, you get the iterator uh, from the underlying collection and while iterating the collection if you do kind of kind of uh, basically uh, structural modification means if you are adding or removing any element then this will not throw any kind of concurrent modification exception right so such iterator may work on the clone of collection instead of original collection such as a uh, copy on write array list so basically uh, this kind of implementation how basically java achieved basically uh, if, uh, when you get iterator uh, from the underlying collection then that will make a one clone copy and 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 all the modification happens on the clone copy and finally that will merge to the original collection right and that's the way basically uh, basically uh, fail safe iterator works right and that is the best example here copy on right array list is the best example even even concurrent hash map is also an example of fail safe iterator here yeah? now most collection under java.util.concurrent of our fail safe iterators uh, to its uh, users and that's why uh, that's that's by design itself now fail safe uh, collection should be preferred while writing multi-threaded application to avoid uh, concurrency related issue so if your underlying collection is going to modify by the more than one thread right and in that case uh, you should uh, choose this kind of uh, fail safe uh, collection right which is available in the java.util.concurrent package yeah fail safe iterator is guaranteed to list elements as they existed upon construction construction of iterator and may reflect any modifications subsequent to construction see so here one thing we should keep in point uh, when you get a iterator i mean fail safe iterator then 
at the time of uh, 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 creating right uh, iterator whatever elements are available in the collection that definitely you'll, you'll get for sure but if you do any modification while the iteration that may or may not get reflected into the collection right and that's why that is called weakly consistent yeah so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys i hope you enjoy learning this video if you really like this video then click on the like button and if you did not subscribe kk java today's youtube channel period please do subscribe guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial